Strengthening Faith 116 I had a thought which I wanted to share. Some Muslims have adopted a lazy attitude which is important to avoid. It is to refrain from striving in the sincere obedience of Allah, the Exalted, which involves using the blessings He has granted them in ways pleasing to Him. As outlined in the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and instead rely on others to supplicate on their behalf while they are alive and after they have died. This was not the attitude of those who understood Islam better than anyone else. The companions, may Allah be pleased with them. None of them resorted to laziness by asking the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, to supplicate on their behalf. They instead strove hard in the sincere obedience of Allah, the Exalted, and then requested the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, to supplicate on their behalf. If supplication from a righteous elder was only enough, the companions, may Allah be pleased with them, would not have sacrificed everything they were granted for the pleasure of Allah, the Exalted. Chapter 9 at Torbah, verse 99. But among the Bedouins are some who believe in Allah and the Last Day, and consider what they spend as means of nearness to Allah and of obtaining invocations of the Messenger. Unquestionably, it is a means of nearness for them. Allah will admit them to His mercy. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. Even if one asks others who appear pious to supplicate on their behalf, it will not benefit them until they strive to sincerely obey Allah, the Exalted, first. Adopting this lazy attitude mocks the concept of supplication and mocking any aspect of Islam will not lead to a good outcome. Just like a sane person does not expect to achieve worldly success through someone's supplication, such as passing an exam, without putting in practical effort, neither will they achieve religious blessings, such as peace of mind and body in both worlds, without striving in the obedience of Allah, the Exalted, even if everyone supplicates on their behalf to Allah, the Exalted. Chapter 53 and Name, verse 39. And that there is not for man except that good for which he strives. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com